Water is one of the globalized world's emergencies. It's a primary resource around which the civilizations of the past developed and great cities grew. Zaragoza lies on the banks of the Ebro, Spain's largest river. It was established by the Romans as a tribute to Augustus. The face of the city is now being changed to become a city of the future on water. The opportunity for all this was the International Expo held there from June to September 2008. Spanning between the high-speed railway station and the Ebro River, 1,650 million euro have been invested in infrastructures in the more than 300 construction sites. Another 700 million euro have been spent for the Expo's pavilions and facilities. The city has undergone deep transformations. About one-third of the entire surrounding territory has been restored and integrated. Water and sustainable development is the theme of the International Expo. An opportunity to discuss the issues concerning water in today's world and the role it plays. 107 countries participated. Each had its own pavilion designed to be converted into what will become Europe's most important and modern business park. Among the institutional pavilions, a group of three projects have become the icons of modernity, a symbol of the technological skills of our times. The bridge, designed by Zaha Hadid, was an opportunity to establish a bond between mobility and water. The bridge was designed to host exhibitions, conferences and thematic pathways. The conference center, designed by Enrique Soberano and Fuen Santa Nieto, was created also with the goal of transforming Zaragoza into a city for national and international conferences. The minimal beams of light from the recessed fixtures exalt the building's depth and slanting surfaces. The water tower, a 73 meter tall transparent building made of glass and aluminium, was designed by Enrique de Teresa. It's the embodiment of the subject water for life. It looks like an open structure that tends to dematerialize and take on the levity of a spray of water. The first hall at the building's entrance plays an emotional and narrative role. It's marked by an inviting blue light, taking inspiration from the Expo's theme. Visitors have the impression of being underwater. We installed light-ups in the floor. A colored filter can be applied on these to create museum settings. We chose blue, the color of water, to obtain a delicate sensation of water throughout the tower's interior. The large exhibition space was designed around a ramp creating a sort of descending and progressive journey. At the 43rd floor, there's a descending ramp that winds around and highlights the unique 3D sculpture, reproducing on a macro scale the splashing of drops of water in a pond. The lighting system was obtained using easy recessed fixtures that can be adapted to the changes of perspective created by the ramp. 